Okay, let's see what this is like. Road tripping with the boys. Easy dub and bass. Oh, you can see the progress at the top. I think it is like a real time two minutes. That's sweet. That's sweet. Time to chat. Exactly. I actually love this. This is the coolest. We're just chilling. Now I can play with the radio. Yeah. I'm like the guy in the passenger seat that's like, I want this song and this song. Except we're in the back seat, but whatever. How's everyone doing? Uh, he won't drive at night because, uh... He won't drive at night because he thinks it's dangerous. Oh, I can still control it. Okay. Hey, Hollywood. What's up, man? I'm doing great, Deadput. Thanks so much. This is awesome. Literal backseating, Falstro. Exactly. Literal backseating. You can also buy new CDs for music? Oh, cool. That's so cool. Gliding along. Ooh, Kingsglaive. I think we gotta turn it up a little bit. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll check uh, the vendors for music next time. That's super cool. S. Kaiser, you're so stoked. Me too. I love this game. I'm having a great time so hey! far. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda I wanna go for a too. dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Oh. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. Oh yeah, it's one of those the places. Seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. That's so calming. Thank you so much for the new subs today, you guys. It's really impressive. Honestly, thanks for the support. I love hearing that song. No, no, Nufa. Thank you so much. That's really kind. I love the fact that it's real time driving. Like, you're just chilling out for the whatever amount. That's super Here cool. Here we are. Nice. Uh, 30 FPS? No, it's 60. Well, I, on my end, it's like close to 80, 90 when I was doing tests. I guess we should refuel. Oh, it's cheap. Huh. I mean, it's obviously based on the amount of fuel that we need, right? Doesn't always mark when there's new missions, so it's good to check the tipster. Okay, cool. I will check the tipsters all the time. Is the tipster always marked? Oryx Culinary Chronicle. Uh, Oryx Con Culinary Chronicle 1, Entry 4 Partners. The fella I helped down the mountain and I are on the way back to Lestalem. Least, I think that's where we're headed. Should only be a little further, but I feel like we're just going around in circles. Fella said we ought to take the road less traveled and follow the river. But the fish will keep our stomachs filled. Sharp has attacked that one. Says he wants to be a journalist, but I reckon I ought to make him my partner. Oh, cool. So like an ingredient thing. Neat. I don't think we need to shop. Let me see what's going on up here. Rent a bird unavailable. All the rent a birds These are down. Bites? How am I supposed to make my deliveries? Whoops. What's going on? What bites? What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Uh, that's not a good sign. Hello and welcome. Hello. I heard you might sell CDs. <laughs> Do you sell CDs? What is this? Uh, the B- Oh, these are, uh, auto parts. Oh! Here's one. Guys, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to buy all of these. Thank you kindly. 
fifth set of Racing Stripe Decal Series. Stick this on your car and make it look like a real race. These are expensive, you guys. Look at that one, though. <sighs> so tempting. For now, we'll stick with the music. We hope to see you again. That's really cool. Huh? Stunning seaside getaway situated along the Vanith coast in southern Leed. No, not for its world-class, or not only for its world-class spa, but also for the exquisite seafood dishes crafted by Mother of Pearl's chef de cuisine, Coctura Arland. Where's that? While the Quay currently enjoys its reputation as the kingdom's premier resort, Golden itself was once a quiet fishing town. That all changed when Nilf Nilfheim made inroads into Lucian territory some 150 years ago and effectively put all lands outside the crown city under imperial control. From that time onward, the former fishing village transformed into a trading post connecting the Lucian continent with the imperial province of Accordo. In time, the empire shifted their shipping operations from the sea to the skies, and Galden's importance as an imperial outpost diminished. What the town lost in strategic value, however, it gained in culture, gleaning heavily from Altizian immigrants drawn to Lucian's shores. In that sense, one could say the Quay owes its current success to the Empire's intervention. New regional information has been added to the archives. Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> that's that's great. Review what you discover about EOS from the data log menu. Sick. Guys, wow. There's there's so much stuff going on. Where's my data log menu? Where? Where, where, where? Archives? data log. Oh, and here's our dishes, too. Quay is pronounced key. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. I'll try to remember that. Let's read through written records and review other information. Okay, so guys, and this is where I need some of your knowledge, alright? The world the world is called Eos. Okay? Golden Quay is like a city within here, or it's like more of like a village, right? Um, I wonder if there's a way to, like, view a large map. Is there that kind of stuff where you can see, like, the layout of things? Maybe later? <laughs> um, Regsy, thanks for the bits. I couldn't think of anything witty to say, so I'll just go back to lurking. That's really nice of you, man. I appreciate you coming out of the lurk zone for a second. But even if you're just lurking, that's totally cool. Let's go check out the pier, just because we can. And, uh, Danielle, thank you so much for the Everything 10 bucks. Can we just cruise and listen to Sweet Tunes all stream? Yes. Yes, we can, actually. Especially if we start finding, like, new, uh, CDs. Now the question on everyone's minds. Who is Prince Noctis? His heart and features belie a gentle demeanor. He's a kind soul who loves animals and nature. Former schoolmates describe him as well-mannered and well-groomed, noting he graduated top of their class. Word has it he takes time from his princely duties to do community service. What a fine young man. Wow. My tummy's rumbling. I don't suppose we could ride huh. this thing. Alright, well, we've had a nice little adventure, boys. It's time to get to work. Hey, Outlaw, what's up, man? It says, Magang Dang Gabi, which is good evening. Nice. I hope I didn't butcher that too bad. <laughs> but I probably did. I believe somewhere you could buy an item that lets you play the same music from the car but while walking a boat. Save man. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good reminder. Good reminder. How many save slots are there? It looks like. Okay, this is five, so it probably goes to like ten. Ten. Probably a Walkman or like a Discman. Shockproof, obviously. Gotta have that. Thank you. Do you guys remember the when the Discmans came out and they had like the anti-skip technology? And they all had like these big rubber like corners and stuff? And they had like it would they started with like anti-skip of like two seconds. And then it got all the way up to like 10 or 20 seconds if you got like really expensive disc mans. That was the best. Those were the days. 
man, it's hot. Golden Key has the, the best the in, in the game, if I recall. Super expensive, but if memory serves, it's 2.5 XP. <laughs> All right. Outlaw, sorry, Welcome man. I tried. Welcome to Golden Key. I tried my best. Whoa. Oh, that was creepy. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about him? Well, we know this guy. not take you forth. I know this guy. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. His name's like Alden or something? The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. So that guy. You know what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, although I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. That guy is, I believe, huh? the uh, chancellor or some chancellor. Look at this snapshot contest. He's the chancellor of uh, Niflheim, I think. Winning snapshots of the fourth photo contest on display now. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I have no clue what this is doing other than changing that background. All right, cool. Good. Nice place you got here. Absolutely breathtaking. Yes. I was about to say the same. They're talking about me. Mm, this is amazing. Well, you can't beat fish fresh from the ocean. So this is the uh, mother no of pearl, I guess. Is fresher than gold. Welcome to the mother of pearl. Yeah. Cool. What do you feel like having today? Okay. Uh I imagine she's so, going to give us information. What there. do you want to know? The cooks or diners or whatever are like, these guys are the know it alls. Nearby parking spots, havens, new outposts. Cool. Procurement points. We got to check out those treasures. We saw one on the road above us, and uh, there's one that's there now as well, so. She also has information on hunts. Here is the local lineup. Okay. I don't think it makes sense to take these on, like, until we're ready to do them. Just because it kind of clutters things up a little bit. Anything catch your eye? Yeah, this is where the rich people eat. Are you kidding me? I can get risotto for 1300 but I think we'll pass for right now. Favorite character in the game? I gotta say, I'm like, I, I like Prompto patronage. a lot. Prompto's my boy, I think. He's gonna be annoying in the long term, I can tell you that, but I like him. He's funny. Okay, we could rest here. So full. The Saluna Cascades are calling you. Oh, this is like a brochure. It's Altitia. Let's see what the um. Let's see what the rest is here, because somebody mentioned it was really good. Greetings, sir. Double XP. But uh, 5,000 guild. It's like. Perhaps pfft. next time. Dude, that's, a, that's a dream. That'll never happen. <laughs> this bites. How am I supposed to make my deliveries? A lot of delivery guys are upset. Looks like a, a biker gang went on vacation straight from the bar. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Oh! Oracle Ascension coin. I was trying to jump there, but that works. It was a key. Uh, Oracle Ascension Coin. To commemorate Lunafreya's Ascension as an Oracle, it is a time-limited minting. I don't know what to do with this. There is uh, there's some of the workshop stuff in here, like this Half-Life costume. Dun, 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 dun. Holy! Wow! Freaky, thank you so much! <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, man. That's so generous. Glad to see you picked this up. Took me five hours to get hooked, but... Uh, 
easily racked up 10 hours in three days. Loving it. Cheers, buddy. Freaky. Man, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much, dude. That's really kind. Thank you, Arthur. That's awesome. Please give that dude a shirt. Let, we could check out some of their gear here. Uh, let's see. We've got n no jacket. This is like, you know, not bad. Casual. Well, oh, I like the hats. Casual, no jacket. Okay, with we got biker gloves on or something. Trendy. I can get behind that. Trendy, no jacket. Royal. That looks good. I wish we could, like, rotate here, but... How about Royal No Jack? <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Hey, Mr. Sand, thank you for the bits, man. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. That's incredible. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing video games and having super time, you know? That's it. Chocomog T. Can I... I wish I could preview them in here. <laughs> Ugh. No! These are like DLC items from like the Gladi like the the individual bros DLCs. Man, guys, epic Wookiee time. Thank you so much for the 5000 bits, dude. What? Thank you. He says never stop being awesome less than 3. Thanks, dude. Mr. Sandy, you didn't have a message, but thank you so much. You guys are too kind. Oh, I can wear my prompto tee. <laughs> That's so bad. Comrades, this is like a multiplayer DLC, I think. I'm not mistaken. Three amigos, like the yeah, where the yeah, I could do that. Look at this. Oh, that's sick. How cool is that? It doesn't give me any bonuses. If I look at um, so if you look in the bottom left, some of these things affect our stats. Magitech Exosuit. A special suit recovered and repurposed by Sid. Uses Magitech energy to generate a barrier that wards the wearer from harm. Holy frick. Why do we have that? That's got to be a DLC thing. Isn't that what the Niffel or Niffelheim, uh, like, bad guy kind of is? Or whatever? Does that, you know, you guys know what I'm saying? Oh, Half-Life increases maximum HP. Made at the Black Mesa Research Facility. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, you can't see the stats. I'm sorry, boys. I'll try to remember to turn that off sometimes. It's when we're in these kind of menus. Let me see, like, what's a good overall boost. Because what we were wearing was this. So this ups our attack and our strength, but it drops our HP considerably. This is uh, designed to defend against stat-reducing ailments. This allows critical strikes, so it's not always going to be explained in the icons, actually. Like, this one says it lands critical strikes more easily, but it doesn't show down there. Very cool. Increase HP recovery, HP and MP, enhances strength, HP recovery. Man, these are so cool. What do you guys like here so far? I mean, this one's okay. I like the Half-Life one. I just don't know if I want to be running around in that right now. I think this one's clearly the best. <laughs> this one gives us HP and MP. I can't. I just can't. Here, let's go no jacket for right now. How about that? What do these guys have? Oh, muscle shirt, obviously. What's casual about this? Oh my god. Gladiolus. These magic... What are the magic tech things, guys? Are these like... This has got to be a DLC, right? It feels weird. I think we'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Ignis, you're gonna I know you're you're gonna have some sick gear. Oh yeah, take that jacket off. Oh yeah, suspenders! Uh 
I'm honestly just going to pick based on looks most of the time. I like that, actually. Reduces stat ailments. Status ailments. It's like uh, Final Fantasy Power Rangers. <laughs> Am I new to the game? Blind first playthrough? Yeah, final. I'm like brand new, to, but like brand new. Like, this is it. This is it. I'm brand new. Oh, prompto. Oh, God. Oh, boy. It's not bad, I guess. Nope. Yeah, I think you're going to stick with the crowns guard, man. Yep. All right, check out the boys. We're looking pretty good. Honestly, we're looking pretty good. Frick yeah. So full right now. So, uh, I do have a question for you guys. What is this coin that I got then? What is this? Like these key items. What is like what are these things? Are these like uh Oracle Ascension coin. So Luna Freya's Ascension is the Oracle. That's a big thing. She's not on Oracle duties during the wedding. I get all that. Like, what is this? Look at our boys, man. I'm actually proud. Oh, you can spend them on things later. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's perfect. Thanks, guys. You know what? Props to you guys for not being spoilery and stuff. That is so cool. The Galden Spa. Relax your body. Open your mind and awaken your soul to a better you for both ladies and gentlemen. Look at our power walk now. now. That's a meal. They're used way later. Okay, cool. That's all I need to know. No spoilers. Cosmology. The Hexathion. Hexathion. The Hex Hexathion. The Hexathion, I think. Titan, the Archean, Steadfast the Stone, Rama, the Fulgarian, Fulgurian, <laughs> Sharp as Lightning, Shiva, the Glacian, Gentle as Snow, Leviathan, the Hydraean, Relentless as Tides, Bahamut, the Draconian, Unbending as Iron, Ifrit, the Ifernian, Fickle as Fire. Since time immemorial, they have watched over Eos. Oh. Are these like, uh, gods? I'm, I'm like, I kind of dig just like looking around here. I don't know if that's like essential, but it seems pretty cool. This bites. How am I supposed to make my deliveries? Holy, everyone's a freaking delivery man. Clearly, we're not going to be allowed on here. What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of holdup. <laughs> I thought that was prompto in the lady sweater. Tani says, uh, I think the lack of spoilers is at least in part because a lot of us have no idea. I I think a lot of people have played it. Out of service indeed. <laughs> but either way, I, I appreciate that you guys are being cool. Ah, uh, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? Hexa six Theon gods. Got it. Six gods. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I totally thought about that. Appreciate it. Well, obviously, we're not going anywhere today. Look at this, you guys. Ugh. It's so nice. Let me check the lighthouse pole. Oh. Nice. Can you choose which guy you move around? No, we only control this dude. The rest of the guys just follow us. Rusted bits. Uh, Angle Guard? Mysterious island off the coast of Golden Key, which must be... Is it that island? Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be that weird thing. Long rumored to be the spot where the gods gathered. Some devotees used to offer prayers from the dock of the key, but none ever set sail to the Umbral Isle to make their prayers in person. The island's regarded as sacred ground, never to be tread upon. Not even the royal family is allowed access. 
A series of reefs surrounds Angleguard, cutting through the oceanic currents and threatening to sink any ships that veer too close. While ferries and fishing boats typically avoid the island, some truly adventurous anglers have been known to approach the Umbral Isle in hopes of landing a big haul. Whoops. But those reckless souls rarely return. Seems like eventually when we learn how to fish that uh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Whoops. Okay, so... Maybe we have to, like... Maybe we have to rest. Beastfish says, you're half right. In, the, in this Royal Edition, you can switch to the others, but only in battle, and it must be unlocked in your skill tree. Oh, that's actually really cool. Some kind of According to my sources, the Empire, oh. given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Of course Pleasure. it is. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. Don't they all. In exchange for a favor. Don't they all. I'll listen to you, bud. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? How? How is he in control here? So full right now. Head over to the mineral deposits. What kind of power does this guy so have? What's the like, scoop on this little road trip anyway? Some kind of secret bachelor gig? Yes. This is our wolf pack. What's all this about by the way. Closing? Some kind of hold up Altitia. This is our four man wolf pack. Winning snapshots of the photo contest on display now. Ooh, he's really got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Yeah, okay. So good. basically, it's just a threat. He's like, we will, uh, I'll tell people where you are kind of thing. So we got to help him. I could really chug one back right now. This is not the time, Gladiolus. Hey, Miro, it's awesome, actually. Thanks for coming. Uh, Black Morkai, thanks for gifting another sub today. Ooh, what the? Huh. Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Oh, yes, oh, let's gotta help him. come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. <laughs> I love how it's like, we have all this important stuff to do. And they're all like, yeah, we that cat, he needs our help. We, we should actually fish. Okay, but this is cool. I want to learn about fishing. Try angling from a fishing spot along the Vanith coast. Kitty catering. Obtain an edible trevally. All right. Uh, does it show us on here the fishing spots? It doesn't. But maybe. Oh, it's like back out. Oh, I see. No, it's over here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's do this. I'm going to have so much fun, you guys. I'm going to have so much fun with this. It's not even funny. I'm having a super time. Thank you guys, honestly, for being here and hanging out with me. This is, uh... This is exceptional. I'm having a great time. And I love that there's, like... There's moments where it's like there's a lot of things happening, and then we got these chill-down moments. <sighs> oh, I love it. It shows us a fish on the map. Maybe it's because this is covered. It was Maybe it was there the first time. I'm hyped that you're trying this out. I, I'm, like... I'm kind of all in, boys. Like, I, uh... I, I watched the Brotherhood stuff. I watched the Kingsglaive thing. Uh, I tried... I took, like... 
a page of notes on my computer about like all these boys and how we met and like all that kind of stuff. Like, I love it. Orienteering checkpoint F. Oil and fish make for a delicious dish, but the taste of victory lies further ahead. Seek in the fourth of the valley's three, where the stairs of stone find their landing. What? That's it. What's what? I've come up with a, a new, new recipe. recipe. That's so huh. good. I could taste test for you. That will never get old, right? I thought this was like maybe a clue, but it seems like some of this stuff just teaches him things. Kenny and Kelly Crow. Only you can keep our nest safe. Only you can prevent forest fires. Talk to your local tipster and join the hunt today. Oh, maybe five more minutes mode will hit? <laughs> what time is it? Jesus! That's three hours gone in like two seconds. Now biting at Vanith Coast. Giant Trevally. Yaldin Trevally. Or Trevally like a... Like a, is that like a... It's like a fish or... Obtain an edible Trevally. Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea. <gasps> what?! Wow! 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 That's incredible, man! And right on time with the ding, I can't believe that. That's big. That's big. That's so nice. That's so nice. Sugar Hat, thanks for the sub. Anonymous, I don't even know who you are. But that's 500 gil. That's incredible, man. Thank you so much, dude. That's incredible. Can we... I don't know who it is. But that deserves a clap. That deserves a clap right there. That's so nice of you, man. That's honestly, I don't even know who you are to thank you. But thank you so much, man. That's so, so nice. What's the guild to dollar exchange? It's one for one. It's one for one. That's so nice. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. That's, that means a lot to me. Wow. Thank you. And Overlord Rai, thanks for the four months, says, enjoy your time with Final Fantasy XV. Thank you so much, man. <sighs> Guys, thank you. That's really nice. I wish, an I wish I knew who Anonymous was. Pixel Chameleons gifted a sub to Cloud Glorifier. Thank you so much. That's really nice, too. Um, I don't know, but the notifications should be showing the gifter and the recipient. I don't know if it's just not been showing that, but... Um... I don't know if Falstro's here, but... Quietly Storm says, The best remedy for problems in life. Thanks for making my day better. Thanks for making my day better, dude. Thanks for coming and visiting. Oh, wait, we gotta buy, uh... Oh, this is like bait. Oh, fishing line. Hold on, hold on. High-quality fishing line, specially treated to ensure durability. Aggressive anglers appreciate its increased resilience. Okay. Buy one of those. Always a pleasure. Uh. Oh wait, does is the stock what we currently own? I think stock is what we currently own. Pixel chameleon say the sub was one for the sis, one for the bros. Thanks so much, man. Full tank of gas, 10 gil. Cup of noodles, 100 gil. Yeah, seriously, right? Good luck out there. Take right. a look at this. What about it? Hmm? They knocked. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? This will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. Guys, I'm so I'm thrilled now. We're fishing. What more could I ask for in life? I actually, I love fishing. Love it. Haven't done it in like 10 years, probably. The only thing I don't like doing when I'm fishing, I don't like, you guys know it probably about this. You don't like, you know that I don't like worms, okay? I hate worms, leeches, night crawlers, all that shit. I hate it. And so I can't bait my own line. That's the only thing I can't do. <sighs> I can't do it, can't do it. You discovered a fishing spot. Here, we can indulge in your favorite pastime. Okay. Choose where to cast your lure with L. The marker will indicate when fish are near your target. 
Caterpillars are your favorite animals? Ooh. Check the minimap to find a good spot and press A to cast your lure. Oh, I see. All right. Won't get a good cast like that. Put your back into it. What was wrong with that? Move your lure by pressing right trigger to reel it in and using L to work. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to work the rod. I swear to God, I'm not 10 years old. Like, sometimes I am. <laughs> Rumbly gold. I don't know if your thing didn't show, but uh, thank you so much for the, for the new sub. That's really nice. Let me see. There you go. Thanks, man. Hey, guys, I'm going to work the rod. Move the lure by pressing... Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to start reeling it in. I'm working my rod. Go up, down, left, right. Working it. If you're unhappy with the lure's position, stop fishing with B, then recast it. Well, I don't know if I'm unhappy. It looks like those fish under there aren't too interested. I'm going to recast. I'm going to cast it deeper so that we, when we reel it in, we're going above the fish. That's what I'm doing. Sick. Working it. Come here, fishy, fishy. Oh! <gasps> A fish is eyeing your lure. Entice it to bite by mixing up your reeling speed. We miss him? Hey, it turns out this is going to be like real life fishing where like not a lot of things happen. <laughs> Work it slowly to give some time to catch. All right. Is this like, uh, is this like the driving thing where like my pressure sensitivity is not working? On a controller, maybe? Because like, I can only go like, I'm just tapping it because uh, I'm going to try with the uh, mouse and keyboard. Let's see if that fixes it. Uh... Cast. Change direction. Reel in space. I guess, like, this isn't pressure sensitive, though. What the frick? I think I'm not letting them take it. <laughs> this is the hardest. This is like the, a boss. I can't believe it. We're back to the controller. Guys, I'm, I'm an expert fisherman, don't you worry. The cast, when the blue thing is orange, uh, means there's always a fish there and you'll get a red thing instantly. Okay, I'm casting, I casted it over. Like, look at him. How come he's not biting? Bite me, buddy. Bite! It's right there! I'm looking at the red bar. What the frick? Okay, let me go right here. I'm working the rod. I'm working it as good as I can, guys. I got a bite! Move quickly in the indicated direction to hook the fish. Oh, sick. The fish is trying to get away. <laughs> Move left stick in the indicated direction to ease the line. Oh, I'm going to screw this up so bad. I'm, I'm reeling in as well. Whoa! Press right trigger to reel the fish in and wear down its stamina. When the fish is all out of stamina, you can pull it up. Oh, I see. Don't let the line break. When the tension meter starts blinking red, stop reeling and give the line some slack. Okay. This is going to be a freaking thing. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Great job. Oh! Boys. We got a glowing barrel fish. It's 4.3 pounds. That's huge. That's huge.
17.6 inches. Biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. Some fish are edible while others are prized. Got it. Guys, we got it. That was great. We're in the money. We're in the money. <laughs> oh, you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Yellow dots represent edible fish. I only see blue dots here. The rarer the fish, the better the ingredient or treasure it provides. By honing Nox's fishing skills and acquiring new tackle, you can reel in real whoppers. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a full-time whopper hunter. Full time. I still okay, I still don't get that was a total fluke that we that, that one bit though. Because I still don't get the whole like how do we let it bite thing? I'm probably gonna have to like practice this. Can't believe it. Uh, Sincere, thanks for the new sub. Overlord Rye, thanks for the donation. It says, gotta catch them all. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend too much time fishing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And Tawny R, thank you so much for the donation. He says... Or she says... Or he... It doesn't matter. You said. I'm usually a tragic broke... Tragically broke student. But I've got some cash on hand. So thank you for all the content in the early morning B-Day stream. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's amazing. Happy birthday, Tawny. Thank you so much. I should be giving you the donation. Let's be serious. All right. Uh, ooh. Dragon Drain. <laughs> What's the 230 mean? Why would I not use the best that I could possibly use? Like, what, what are these, what are these numbers... Defense? Like, what is- what is that? Attack? Like, why would I not use the strongest? You can get AP for fishing. I should totally do that. I think I have a bunch of AP. Resembles a chocobo. <gasps> Tater Tots, what's up, man? Thank you. Thank you so much for the tier two for five months. That's really nice. Mysterious lure that always comes back. Supremely versatile, is effective in all waters and all varieties of fish. Bomber. Bomb. Doesn't explode. It dives when reeled in and floats when the tension is released. Let's try this. Defense is tension and attack is reeling power. And the lure, if they sparkle, they are indestructible. So why would I ever not use the best one? Hey, what's up, Chucker? Is is it DLC stuff? Is that what this is, Bradley? I'm not sure. Because I, I have no idea. Okay, so he's going to dive. Look, I'm going to try to get this guy right here. Come here, buddy. No, he's over it. He's over it. Oh. How come he's like, he's just so instantly not into it? He's just so instantly not into it at all. He's like, I don't give a shit about this. Come on, come to Papa. Like he is, they're just not, they're just not feeling it at all. Hey, look. Come on, big boy. I can't. I'm going to have to practice on my own, boys. But that's okay. I'll do that. Alexei Panda, can you say hello to my nephew, Michael? Hey, Michael, what's up, man? How you doing? Have I done the Ignis DLC? No, I haven't done any DLCs. No, I'm just starting, man. Thanks for the uh, new sub, Mega Bobo. Thank you, man. Oh, I have to, I have to get an edible one. Frick. All right. Reeling too fast, pulling away from the fish. Maybe, okay. I'm okay if you guys backseat game this part, because I got to learn how to do it. Do I want to go towards the fish? Like, look at him. Like, he's just not into it. Edible fish during daytime. Okay. Okay. 
That's okay, but how do I catch these fish even? Because if I can practice here, and then I can actually catch one. Oh, okay, well, I guess we could just go with that approach. Where we get lucky and it just happens. Holy. I think we got him? Got him. Wow, you did good. That lure doesn't work on that fish. Okay. So that, uh, okay, so that Leviathan tackle then says it works on every fish. Is this, this is probably a DLC thing. Right? And I feel like this is cheating almost. <laughs> you know what I mean? If this is a DLC thing. Oh, he's, he's thinking about it. See, like, if I just sit it here, will he get it or no? No. That's so tough. That's so tough. See, like, that, I think that's the best way to fish. Oh my god, this is stressful. Let him go. Let him ride. Let him ride. Got him. A line and rod or DLC too? Oh. Okay. Mm. I kind of want to do like what's you know like what the what the base game would be then, you know? That, I think that would be more fair. Anyways, we have to rest till daytime. So where am I gonna do that? Because we can't afford to camp here. Uh. Oh, I have this place. Yeah, we have this place here. Which is actually right uh -huh. over there. The fishing changes a ton from day to night. Yeah, maybe. Like, according to what you guys see of my, my fishing technique, like, am I doing anything that's, like, tracks. superbly Ignis. wrong? We're going. On my way. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna camp. Plus, we get some elemental stuff over here, which is always good. That was one of the things we leveled, which reminds me, I'm going to level after we camp here as well. See, now we're absorbing more of this because of that thing that we grabbed, so. Can you play this with your friend Co-op? I don't think so. Just tap slowly when reeling. Stop at times. Yeah, that's what I was trying that, but maybe I'm just not being patient enough. That could be a thing. I'll figure it out. Huh. Okay, boys. Time to sleep. You wanna make camp? We could crash right here. Two AP you can right there. Awake long enough to Just keep eat. working the rod. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Thanks. Just gonna keep working the rod. Guys. Um, I didn't get an answer on this either, but. What is that report card? Is that just battles? Is that a summary of all battles since last camp? Sorry, I'm asking a lot of questions, but like, I don't know. I don't know the answers, so. We can make this now with that uh, dual horn stake that we have. Oh, look, these guys have favorites. So this is like uh, Prompto's favorite. Final says, yeah, there's an online multi multiplayer DLC. It's completely different, and it plays like a fighting game. Also has a ton of weapons in the magic system. Oh, interesting. Average battle summary. Okay, cool. So it shows who has, like, favorite meals and stuff. Cool. Let's make this. HP by 200 is pretty nice. Plus, this is a new one. I love his reactions. Like, yep, that's a freaking good one right there. This is so charming. Look at that. We made that, guys. We did it. We made that. Alright. Leveling is starting to... Okay, so it's starting to take, like, you know, a bit more work. We're level 6. Cooking is up. Good. Our fishing is almost level 2. Have I played Final Fantasy games in the past? I played Final Fantasy VII when I was, like, 12 or 13. I told the story at the beginning of the stream of how, like, 
uh, you have to like go to the store. At this time, it was a it was a uh, a Woolco, which nobody probably even knows what that is. Then it Woolco turned into Zellers, and then Zellers all closed. This was like a long time ago. Uh, but I had to I go I went to Woolco when I was 12 or 13 with my mom, saved all of my money to buy Final Fantasy VII, and uh, bought it and played the hell out of it, and it could never get past the casino for some reason. So, like, I don't know what was wrong with me. But, uh, I played the start of that game probably 15 times. I don't know why. No, yeah. Uh, Rav Rava Razan. I just answered that one, but, uh, yeah. That's my only experience with it. With Final Fantasy. <laughs> now that's what I call a good oh! shot. Oh! Oh, look at this. Yep. Sketchy. What is this? What were we doing there? Got the island behind us? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, that is that is a dope shot actually. That's so nice. Good job, Prompto. I'm a chocobo here, me quark. <laughs> I heard you, Ben. I love how they've got, like, the Coleman brand. That's so funny. What's going on here? <sighs> I wish Ignis would get off my back. He'd ease up if you could just get up in the morning. <sighs> a cure for sleeping in. All right. Crack of dawn tomorrow. We train at the beach. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you think it'll help. Oh, <laughs> No doubt about it. You'll feel like a new man. So the uh, Clara Wolfenstein is saying that the the dishes that have the favorites um, helps you to develop a closer relationship with them. So I didn't know that there was like relationship uh, measurement with these guys. And I don't know what that unlocks. But don't tell me because I imagine at some point it will explain it to me maybe. I think. Your friend has invited you on a tour. Join him at dawn tomorrow to undertake a special task. You must remain in the vicinity of your destination. I know just the place. Come on. Alrighty. A tour. So this is like a side thing with just this guy? 